And now it's time to keep calm and ki ki carry on. Honestly, I should have grabbed myself some water. What was I thinking? I was thinking, I don't need water. Oh. The, the truck. Oh, shoot, there's a ta there's a tornado coming in. We should have full ammo anyway. Gosh, I was not getting enough to uh, replenish all of that shield that was being taken down, so let's try this instead. Is that only on kill, not just on uh, attack? Can't use that ability when I'm halfway through death. Just FYI. Maybe warping into the thick of things isn't the best option anymore. Okay, yeah, I should switch that back to the regular sword, because the wheel thing is not particularly what I need. Temporal Blade, 414 damage. Seeding some shield. Increasing firepower by, like, a set of number instead of a percentage means that it's better with, like, guns that have less damage as a base. Boom. 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 Do 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 do. Yeah. Um. So I was just thinking about that whole thing in the last episode, it's like, oh, if you tell me the information, I'll make sure, I'll, like, spare your life, and it's like, oh, you tell the information? Cool, time for you to die anyway, because we don't need you anymore, you already told us your information. And it's so always like, you're an idiot for thinking that you could trust us. I mean, your only bottling chip that you had was that you had this information, and now you're like, don't. So you use this to us now. When it says stuff like Private's Helmet auto-looted, does that mean I lost the thing? Because I 
already had a private helmet, unless I had grown rid of it. And last time I died, I had auto looted something. Long range damage. Sure, let's do that. Healing received. Right, that just boosts the amount of healing I received, right? It doesn't actually heal me. I really hope that the, like, crafting system is, like, actually good in this game. Because it'd be so annoying if I'm doing all of this and the crafting system is, like, you can put... It's like, I know you just got, like, 23 anomaly power from that whatever thing, but you can put in, like, one. Because, like, Tear Steel Jacket auto-looted, do I just get an extra thing when I die? Like, apparently. Yeah. Uh, what I know about games with crafting systems where you can dismantle stuff, you want to dismantle everything. Unless it can be sold for, like, an obsessively large amount. Yeah, like in Cyberpunk, uh, money starts becoming like not so much an issue if you uh, after a while, but you'll always need more uh, basic components. Yeah, like one basic component is like three hundred currency, so it's like, yeah, sure you can sell that item for like five con for like three hundred currency. Or you can take it apart and get like 1500 currency of stuff. You know, basically, it's like. And since you can craft stuff that you either cannot find in a store, or it would be absolutely ridiculous odds of finding in a store, you know, uh, generally higher end stuff once it gets to that point. Although in Cyberpunk, I think I started uh, making a whole bunch of, like, armor modifier. So I could put that on, like, all of the equipment that I've been finding. And just, like, increase my armor by generally a lot. Okay, what if you ran up here? Come on, I need more shield. I don't know if it looks like I'm enjoying this game or not, but I am enjoying just the mindless Hey, there's an enemy, go shoot. Hey, there's an enemy, go shoot. Hey, there's an enemy, go shoot. Like, I enjoy the whole feeling of I will run into the middle of the firefight and, like, you know, kill everything. Okay, I was trying to get away, and then all of a sudden, control wasn't jump over barricade anymore. Hey, you want to turn down the world tier um, over my dead body? Which is going to happen pretty soon, just watch. Yeah, those things are not so much an issue. I only got all the right things. 
And when you got the damage output for it. And like people complain about these like looter shooter whatever type games. It's like, oh, well, it's like, yeah, it has like a weapon crafting thing, blah, blah, blah. But you can never craft a weapon because then you're going to go on a mission and find one that's better. Well, if the weapon that you crafted is going to be one-upped by like the next random weapon drop you find, then you made a terrible weapon. Like, I'm going to try to make a weapon that has, like, basically this gun, but more damage with the health regen. And then if I find another weapon with, like, higher rate of fire with, like, more health regen. Probably shouldn't have warped when I had low health. But yeah, like, submachine gun or machine gun, whatever. Light machine gun, heavy machine gun, I don't know. I don't really care. Just a high rate of fire. Maybe like a whole bunch of ammo. Yeah. Whole lot of bullets coming out with health regen per bullet that hits. Where are you? Here you are. Done. Don't I have access to like grenades or something? I better. Okay, cool. It's like, and then I have one ability that's just hey, your guns are stronger plus free. Plus, like, a free refill. Plus, like, a bit of extra ammo. So that's cool. That's nice generic stuff there. And I have two abilities that basically jump into a group of enemies and kill them. Boom, done. These two guns are doing well together. I panicked and I accidentally hit N when I was meaning to hit, like, shoot. Oh, hey. I got a class point. Let's hold up, everybody. I got a class point. Okay, cool. But, like, buzz off. Like, seriously, all of you. Excuse me, I shot you like point blank and you took like no damage. I don't know why I randomly like roll around. Like I'm not hitting control when I go and do all these random rolls. There you go, two for one. Excuse me, I hit the H key. 
so I won't have to reload myself. I hit H so I won't have to reload and the game's like, cool, I'll ignore that. Anyway, increase max health, yes. 355, sure. Like, if I do this, that gets rid of, like, the first, like, five enemies. Like, at once. And it's just, like... I mean, one of those uh, fellows really has their priorities straight. Uh, it's them or it's me. They just don't have their reality on straight. To know that I'm going to kill all of them. Huh. Do I just have a thing that I haven't been seeing that just heals me whenever I kill anything? And we can just be sitting there, like, firing on me for several seconds, and th only then do I realize, oh, hey, I'm being shot at from over here. Oh, shoot, come on. Do I really, though, like, just not have grenades in this game? How did I kill you? Cool, thanks, uh, person, for showing up. I, Why is it that sometimes the screen, like, the, uh, game recorder will record, like, Hey, so-and-so just popped into your game. And sometimes... It won't. Like, sometimes it'll show all of the Steam, like, pop-ups, and other times it just won't. And it's literally the exact same setting that I use for most all of my Steam games. A few of them require a full-screen recording, but this is not a full-screen recording. It's just taking the window. And some things that take the window don't show, like, achievements and stuff. I really need a faster rate of fire. Or something like that. Okay. I mean, hey, if I go and fight this one fight for an hour, then you know what this fight was like, huh? So apparently it's every other shot with the shotgun heals. It's not every shot that heals, it's like every other shot, and it's for less than one of their shots. Yeah, just run in and kill like five enemies at once. I thought I saw you turn into a skeleton, but apparently you're just fine.
There we go. That was not the cover I was trying to run behind, Rune. I was trying to hide behind this thing. And then you're like, let's go run across the enemy's line of fire. That will be a fun day. Why did they get grenades and I don't? Also, why does it default to look over left shoulder? It's like, no, no, just, I'm fine with it being right shoulder all the time. I don't want the game deciding, oh, it'll be this shoulder this time. Like, right there, boom. Look over left shoulder. You have to go, like, here, and then here, and then it'll be right shoulder. But, like, depending on how you happen to be hiding behind cover will determine, like, how it does it. Hey, no. So if you go hide behind cover like this, get out. No? That was weird. It was just like that. Yeah, this doesn't give enough shield. That's why I need something that gives, like, shield and health. Oh, gosh. Well, I know how I want to deal with these enemies now. No, no, I'm not allowed to do my melee attack. How about now? No. Oh, it's because I hit that and then that turns off melee because it's like melee is apostrophe. You're hitting like question mark or like E with a like thingy on it. Why does the Canadian keyboard not have stuff like question mark? It has like the French E, despite the fact that as a, even though I'm Canadian, I'm not French and don't use accents on my letters, at least not written letters. Like I don't need that feature, I don't want that feature, but it's like what am I supposed to do, just only flat out use an American style, American standard keyboard? Like no. Ew. That was an accident on my own part. Well, that was pathetic. Excuse me, buddy. Are you okay? Boom, 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 done.
Bam, bam, bam. Might as well pick up an extra helmet. Oh, hey, wait. There's like one extra enemy like way up here. I Cool. The dive over cover mechanic doesn't work when I really, really need it to. Yeah, I forget the boss comes out and so do like a bunch of these fellas. Hey bossy wassy woo. You're dead. <laughs> I just Boss dies and it's just a breacher right behind it. Excuse me! I was hitting space and it was just like not going in cover. What the flip is that gun? Lift up, I don't know, that thing of cargo, I guess. So, anyway. Grab a helmet with strong twist bonus. Nope. One that 1097 <laughs> But again, the Twister Brown's double thing. Healing received. Cooldown reduction, like, 2%, but it all adds up. Cooldown reduction, status power, no. Status power, no. Status power, no. Okay. Do any of these have something better than Essence Leaf? Healing received. Skills Life Leech. Shots inflict vulnerable and also Skills Life Leech and Skills Life Leech. Shots generate shield and shots generate health are so far still like the best things that I have. I mean, this would probably sell for a very pretty penny, huh? I have plenty of resources because you get the resources from dismantling them. So I have mods and stuff on here. I Gee, I wonder which one it is. Gee, I wonder which one truck. A bunch of trucks searching while I search. Uh, how about the one with the blue lights and the quest marker? <laughs> how did that not fall out or get found? With how much that bumps around and how easy that was to take out, how did that not fall out? I feel like that gate would have made more. Oh, right, texture popping. Obviously. Can't have all the textures at once. Okay, now we have two trucks. Makes me 
there was like no like inclination on that sentence so i don't know what his meaning was with the sentence excuse me code so it sounded like he was being literal like oh yeah for my next assignment i would like to dig my own grave code settle down Coat. It's not that windy. I've, I found a few places. Is that the place from Life is Strange? Why did you go on the mission and why did you bring me? I've died like at least three times already. Gosh, imagine a game like this, but it's like hardcore mode. So every time you die, you actually have to play as like one of like the other people. To leave for Eagle Peaks. Okay, cool. Crafting! <laughs> to let you. Especially important on higher roll tiers than an end game. Yes! Modify weapons and armor. Uh, Iron is used to upgrade weapons. Armor uses leather. Epic and legendary gear requires titanium. Exchanging mods requires a mod to be unlocked in a collection. And iron or leather. This requires attribute shards. Cool. And you can get resources from various sources. You can sell items to receive scrap. It's the base currency to buy stuff. If it's behind at levels, buying a new item vendor may be a way to upgrade. Or you can dismantle them. Unlocked mods added to the collection, and they can be used. Multiple mods of the same name don't stack. Okay, so now I want to test out. Did I sell that gun? Oh no. So it looks like I can't actually make a whole new gun. I would have to upgrade guns. Choose the item to craft. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Improve rarity. Improve this item, but I need. Raise the attributes. Armor piercing. Status power. Okay. I don't care about that. Mod the gear. Oh, it's one second cooldown, so every, like, one second I can regenerate. And that that specifically says uh, killing shots. But this is all shots to generate health. Interesting. And I can just level it up to generally increase the uh, damage of the item. 
or I can just get a better like base of item. But you know what? The Zebra Core 19 LMG is doing good for me. So shots generate shield every like one second. Um, killing shots grant stuff. Killing shots to generate health versus killing shots grant skill leech. So. If I want this on something else, I'd have to disassemble the shotgun. Shoot. So I have to disassemble both of these guns and then find or maybe buy new ones. Can I go back to that previous hub and just like find stuff there? What are you up to? Hey buddy, who are you? Potential. I see lives that could have been saved. Side quest. Okay, uh, where's my flip? Okay, hold on. Let me check your map. Here it is. Up to here. Okay, right, and then I did that and that. So let's just work to here. Okay, so we need to find new guns, and maybe he'll have guns uh, in his home. Didn't you see the first storm? Oh, ammo. It was a blue box. I thought it had, like, guns. Okay, so, again, probably firefights. I think it's going to be just uh, free loot, right? Place clear the air. What is this one?
film. Ha! Ah, pathetic. I mean, you can see just how much damage I'm dealing here. Eh. Okay, so the thing is, I was at one shot, I hit the H key to get the thingy, and then it's like, cool, let's not do that. Come on. Boom, boom, boom. Wait, why is my health 600? Sometimes if you hit shift, the game says, oh, you hit control, time to do a dodge roll. Cool. Like right there. It did a dodge roll like right in front of, to push me right into the enemies I was trying to run away from. Gosh, why are there so many people, like, at your house? I remember on the map when it looked like this area is all, like, small and stuff. And we get here and it's, like, absolutely not. And how come you have that ability charged for every single time I try to get behind you? Okay.
Boom. I mean, at least there's no, like, elite enemies, it's just these basic enemies and, like, a boss. I don't have the, uh, what are those called? Like, brutes or some such? I don't have those to deal with. Just, like, all of these. So, anyway, I really thought, so now that the big guy is dead, are the others going to, like, stop respawning? Because if the others keep respawning forever, then I'm going to have to find a different way through. Did that regular basic old enemy just drop something actually useful? Done. Sometimes we just slide it open, sometimes we, like, punch it open. So that would be movement skills, gives your weapon damage a little, but I don't get with our scrying. Decrease shield degradation or increase resistance. Damage mitigation by 10%. Oh, that'd be nice. It's so warm here. Alright, my window's still closed because it's raining. I'm going to steal this. I wonder if, like, the old- if I just, like, manually wait for long enough, if the old man will just, like, come by anyway. But there wasn't enough food. Of course not. I got experience. Select a reward. I get one of these. Shots to generate your health, so I can get rid of this and keep the shotgun. 30% critical damage bonus while this skill is active or reduce. Receive a bunch of stuff. So, this one I don't have yet. And a cooldown reduction, so that's nice. So let's take the Skola's Mask. So what I have is, yeah, weapons, firepower, additional. Three percent critical damage bonus. Oh, shoot. Turns out I already had that.
Um, clip size is only like three, which really sucks. Damage 110, damage 180, but again, three point clip size. You know what, let's just practice with it. We get some mods. Yeah, this will be decent. So let's go back to camp and let's upgrade this shotgun with the other shotgun's vampire powers. Um, it's this button. Also, we got accolades. We got a rare emote. Ooh, like whatevs. We got a thingy. See ya, buddy. What up? Okay. Let's upgrade our gear. Specifically, this shotgun improves the rarity. Oh, right. It doesn't have any mods yet. So this would be... Let's do that. And we don't have the diamonds. This is simple epic and legendary weapons. So we can raise the attributes. Oh yeah, shoot, that's a uh, long range damage. The long it has long range damage, which is useless. Mod the gear. You know what? Yeah, shots generate more shield, and then we can. Um. Okay, so. Yeah, this increases just shield, not health. Actually, you know what? Let's talk to you again. Let's do this again. We can absolutely do this to mod the gear. Actually, I'm curious now. Proof rarity. So we need that stuff if we want to make stuff actually like good. Let's do that. And then let's mod the gear. Okay, it's specifically like skill bonus stuff. That's 5% of shield and then this. Yeah, there's like a lot more stuff that we can get from all this. So everything is being fine. We have all of our healing potential. Uh, let's go to the next area and then end the episode again. It's time for us to go. I mean, I guess we could go back to Rift Town. Yeah, let's go back here and go to the shops to see if I can find something. See if I can find a gun I actually want to upgrade. I should be able to afford it, right? Alright, it is this way. Okay. And this is like bolt action, whatevs. Alright, alright. Um, you're not offering me anything good.
So I guess I could also just buy stuff that has abilities I like, and all of this requires that. Alright, well that was a waste of time. I guess I'm going to uh, keep this shotgun for the time being. What's up here? Alright, stash. Nice little detour, but let's get going and let's go to Eagle Peaks. It's time for us to fly. Again, I really should try playing this on the stand computer. I was just too tired to stand end game, but not so tired that I couldn't sit end game. Yeah, sure, why not? Monster. Okay, and you're here to, like, keep crafting stuff. Hey, Cape, what's up? Gee, so many questions I can ask. I recognize your voice. <laughs> Thanks, I will. It's a creature that comes from this planet. It is indeed natural, even if you don't want it, it to be. Oh, you're trying to uh, defrost stuff. Using a lot of flamethrower fuel. I guess we have infinite ammo. Why do we pack so much ammo for a trip to another planet? Like, no, I'm serious. I have to deal with the volcano. Mm -hmm. Good to know. It's like, oh, you're altered. No wonder. <laughs> So I'm going to go to this door and I'm going to end off here and hope that somewhere along the next episode we can get, I don't know, a better weapon. So we have two shots generate shield things and a handgun that does like nothing. Actually, hold on. Oh, right. Clip size is like bloody 34. I know what I wanted to keep this. Anyway, that's enough for this episode.